Now, this is a good question, and I have had a lot of people ask about irrational time signatures in the past. So let's talk about what an irrational time signature is. If we're talking about a standard time signature, the top number is going to tell you how many beats per measure, and that could be any number. The bottom number is going to tell you what kind of note sounds just like the beat. If this is the beat, one, two, three, four, what kind of note sounds identical to that? So the bottom number, if it's a one, the whole note gets the beat. If the bottom number is a two, the half note gets the beat. If the bottom number is a four, the quarter note gets the beat. If the bottom number is an eight, the eighth note gets the beat. With an irrational time signature, we're not talking about notes that are multiples of two, four, eight, 16, 32. We're talking about the more uncommon subdivisions like triplets, or even 16th triplets, or eighth triplets, or quarter triplets, or even the stranger subdivisions like quintuplets or septuplets. All of those could be put on the bottom of a time signature, and that time signature becomes irrational. So what if I went ahead and replaced the bottom number of this time signature with a five? Well, that would mean that this whole note over here would be separated into five even spots. Like that. So that would be like saying the quarter note five lit gets the beat. Confusing? Well, it gets worse. So why does this exist? Why would you use something like this? And the answer to that is basically to avoid writing what's called a metric modulation, which I've talked about in other videos. A metric modulation is the idea of turning one note into another note. And you need to do that without disrupting the flow of the notes themselves. Okay, so stay with me. Imagine we're playing with a band and I want to move to 7-8. But the 7-8 was the same speed as triplets at this tempo. So four and one and a two and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Now that's a metric modulation and we'd write it something like this, where the triplets become eighth notes. Eighth triplet becomes eighth note. Now we're talking about eighth note triplets here, right? So there's 12 eighth note triplets to a whole note. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So as an irrational time signature, we would write that as 12, 12. This example, I don't need 12 eighth note triplets, I only need seven. But if I want to do that without a metric modulation, I could just write seven, 12, or seven 12th notes, and I could just get rid of the metric modulation altogether. So basically, you can use an irrational time signature in lieu of a metric modulation, and they sound the same.